What is going on, awesome peeps? And welcome back to another episode of Electrified Reviews. I hope you are having an absolutely amazing day and hopefully you are enjoying some of this much needed cooler weather. Today we are reviewing the V-Bike Lexo 20S. This is a nimble class two folder that folds up into a seriously compact package that can be stored just about anywhere. This fat tire folder has a starting price of $1,786 USD or $2,249 CAD. It comes in black and has some serious battery upgrade options, which we will talk about here in just a few minutes. Assembly of the V-Bike Lexo 20S is, well, it's practically non-existent. They come nearly 100% assembled and ready to ride straight out of the box. Just turn it on, power it up, and off you go. V-Bike also offers a 12-month warranty on their electric bikes, which is pretty good for this price point. All right, let's dive into the specs. The V-Bike Lexo 20S has a buffing 500 watt geared hub motor with a top speed of 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour with a throttle or pedal assist, making this a class two electric bike. And the smaller 20 inch by four inch Innova fat tires give the Lexo 20S a good mechanical advantage when climbing hills and accelerating from a stop. The V-Bike Lexo 20S is equipped with a cadence sensor, and like we've mentioned probably a hundred times before, it does have some latency when it comes to motor activation and deactivation. Thankfully, the Lexo 20S's throttle is live from zero miles per hour, and the brakes have motor inhibitors built in, so you can kind of manually and more immediately control the motor activation and deactivation that way as well. The battery on the V-Bike Lexo 20S is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour with a max estimated range of around 50 miles. And for those of you who want even more juice, they have a 17 amp hour version and a 20 amp hour battery upgrade for an extra $120 USD and $240 USD respectively. The battery here is a Silverfish style and is located just behind the seat post. This does make the Lexo 20S a bit back heavy, but it's still pretty easy to carry around, especially with the included handle on the frame. The battery is locking and removable and requires that you actually leave the key in the ignition, so to speak, whenever you're using the Lexo 20S. Be careful of heel strikes here with the keys when you're pedaling. In order to remove the battery, you first have to remove the saddle, which just takes an extra couple of seconds since it's a quick release latch. Once you've got the saddle out, then you can slide out the battery. In the back, we've got a Shimano Altus 8-speed derailleur with some trigger shifters up front. I really appreciate that V-Bike went with these upgrades, especially the trigger shifters, because I just feel like they're so much more comfortable to use compared to the entry-level SIS Index thumb shifter. I also like that V-Bike put a steel derailleur cage on here to protect the derailleur from strikes. And they also went with a double-sided bash guard on the front chain ring to help keep that chain locked in place. 10 points. The frame on the V-Bike Lexo 20S is made from 6061 aluminum alloy and has a 275 pound carry capacity for the rider and a 55 pound carry capacity for the rear rack, which puts the overall carry capacity of the Lexo 20S at about 30 pounds more than comparable folding e-bikes. The handlebars on the V-Bike Lexo 20S are adjustable and much narrower than normal, making this ride extremely nimble at low speeds, but a bit squirrely at top speed. The narrower handlebars also means that when folded up, this e-bike is super compact and folding it is pretty easy. There's a locking mechanism on the frame and one on the handlebars. Just release those and everything collapses nicely. Now, while the Lexo 20S does have front suspension and four inch by 20 inch fat tires, like most folders, it's really not geared for extreme off-road use. The locking mechanisms just aren't built for that level of stress. To bring the V-Bike Lexo 20S to a stop, we've got Tektro hydraulic disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors in the front and rear wheels. This is another really nice upgrade point on the Lexo 20S. Hydraulic disc brakes always just feel so much smoother than mechanical disc brakes and the increased stopping power is a nice bonus as well. 
The front headlight is fairly bright, and since the Lexo 20S is a class two electric bike, it might be bright enough to actually illuminate your path at night. Wire management here is also good on the Lexo 20S, and I love how everything is neatly bundled together and wrapped up all nice and tight. V-Bike is upgrading their display, which will also include a walk mode feature, but even the older version that we tested was quite easy to read in direct sunlight. On the left side of the handlebars, we have the throttle, which oddly twists away from the rider instead of towards, and the trigger shifters are on the right side of the handlebars. Since the V-Bike Lexo 20S is a class two, it's a great choice for anyone who lives in an area with e-bike restrictions. The fat tires, narrow handlebars, and upgraded brakes, derailleur, and bash guard are great for urban riding, and again, when this thing is folded up, this e-bike can fit just about anywhere. All right, awesome peeps, that is it for the review of the V-Bike Lexo 20S. Now, let's take it out for a ride.